Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for today's video. So of course I'm showing you our night routine, and tonight is, um, the routine will be the same, but we are about an hour and a half behind our regular schedule. So, um, Georgia and Addie took their naps about an hour to an hour and a half later than they normally would, which means they slept about an hour or an hour and a half later. So everything is moved back about an hour or an hour and a half, but the routine will be pretty much the same. Um, here we try to embrace sort of slow living because I have three kids under four years old. So Georgia is seven months old, Adelaide is about to turn two. She'll be two in just a couple months. And then I also have Tennyson who will be four in a couple months as well. Mama, can you sing the song that Spider-Man? Oh, sing the song from Spider-Man? Yeah, I like Spider-Man, Mama. I like Spider-Man too, honey. So... Can you sing this Spider-Man? <laughs> so it is about, it's just before 7 o'clock now, and one of the things we do to sort of get the girls in gear um, for nighttime and to get everyone a little bit relaxed is we go on a walk through our neighborhood. It's typically a pretty long walk. It takes us, at minimum, about an hour, and that just relaxes everyone and it gives them an opportunity to see the sun go down, which helps your brain to produce melatonin. So if you're having sleep problems, um, that is one thing that's encouraged, is for you to get outside and watch the sun go down, and that helps your brain to know to produce melatonin. Anyway, um, speaking of sleep problems, I feel so far removed from myself right now because I have been having a lot of sleep issues, and it's just, it's hormonal, and I always, also have a lot of trouble um, getting back into a good routine of sleep after we've been sick. So we all had stomach flu a couple weeks ago and I've been having some sleep issues ever since. It just takes my body a long time to adjust from being sick. So um, yeah, I've been struggling with sleep issues too. I also want to thank Lean Photo Printer for sponsoring today's video. They sent me a beautiful photo printer and we know that Mother's Day is coming up and so I can't wait to show you guys the photo printer that they sent to me. Also, they're just a really nice company to work with. They have been really helpful on any, on any questions I had and they got the product to me super fast. So I cannot wait to tell you guys a little bit more about Lean um, Photo Printer a little bit later on in the video and show you more about how it works and all the lovely features. Um, but I did just up front want to let you guys know to keep your eyes open for that later on. And I wanted to thank Lean again for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so let's get started. All right. You ready for walk? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you have on your face? So, change of plans. Georgia is hungry, so I'm gonna uh, feed her before we go on our walk. So, I was trying to eat mommy's chest. Yes, I was. <laughs> Telling Georgia no for biting me. <laughs> Did Sissy discipline me? Yeah. Me please. She just takes her little hands and pinches me, and then she also bites my boob as well. Motherhood. It's a blast. <laughs> Mama, 
It's a never ending cycle of abuse. Are you ready for a walk now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, sit that big girl up. Hello, pretty girls. <laughs> Tenny just found this pacifier. I guess we dropped it earlier on a walk, huh? <laughs> and he said, Bane. <laughs> you want me to take that? Yeah. Addie's having strawberry, and George is having some strawberries in her little teether. We like to come out at this time because it's really peaceful and the bugs are not out yet. And like I said, it really just helps to calm the girls down so much. They really enjoy it. George is nice and settled. Addie's walking now. Tinny's burning off some energy. I love your lipstick, Tinny. She got into my makeup. Mommy, where's Here's my tooth? Ah. I love your makeup. Your juice. There you go. Okay. Do you enjoy your walk, Georgia Love? Yeah. Sweet girl. What about you, Gracie? Do you enjoy your walk? Okay, so we just got home. Um, it's about 8.15, so we were gone for over an hour on our walk. The girls loved it and did so well. Especially Miss Addy Patty. Chad is here, so he's aggravating Tenny because that's what he does. And yeah, I'm about to go upstairs and get I'm about to go upstairs and get all of their nighttime stuff and then put them in the bath and put some pasta on for them while they're in the tub. But everybody's nice and relaxed except for Ten or except for Tenny, because Daddy ruined that. Hi. Why do you have to aggravate her? <laughs> she did. I would love to thank Lean Photo Printer for collaborating with me on today's video. Say thank you, Lean! Thank you, Lean! <laughs> I was sent the Lean Photo Printer Bundle, which included the printer, ink, and printing paper sheets. And you get so many sheets in with this bundle. I can't wait to use absolutely every one of them. <laughs> there are two color options with this printer as well, white and pink. I, of course, chose the pink one, which I'm so glad I did. What I love about this printer is that it is really portable. I was able to use it at my house, at my mom's house, and the transport was super, super easy. I printed a couple of photos out for my mom as well and she really loved them. The printer works really quickly and it's super easy. You just bring the pictures up on your phone and they are sent directly to the printer. It immediately starts printing and the whole process is complete in picture? under a minute. Yeah. And I look at that. Mm -hmm. The printer uses thermal dye sublimation and it is iPhone, Android, smartphone, or computer compatible. Let's pick one out. This one. Right here. Addy. Addy? Yeah. It's pick out. This is a really great gift idea for Father's Day or even for graduation, which I know a lot of us are preparing for at the moment. You did it? Pick the right thing. Oh. She picked the picture out. Oh, it's right there. 
The picture quality, as you can see, is really nice. It's really good quality. I really enjoy this product. I know that for me, a lot of times I just have all these photos stuck on my phone and I need something that's quick and convenient, just like this small printer that doesn't take up a lot of space, that's easy to use. And now I know I'm gonna have so many more photos around my house, so many more photos to put into my scrapbook. I really have been wanting a printer like this for some time, so I'm really happy that Lean reached out to me because this is a very good printer, very good quality photos, and it's a really good deal as well. I know you guys are going to like this printer just as much as I do. Again, it would make a great gift for Father's Day or graduation or really anyone in your life. Um, this really makes printing photos so easy. You don't have to go to the store. You don't have to put your order in. You just open the photo up on your phone and send it to the printer. And again, it is finished in under a minute. I know either you or someone in your life would love this printer just as much as I do. The link for this lovely printer can be found in the description below. And I would like to thank Lean once again for collaborating with me thank on today's you, video. So we're gonna let Daddy get Tinny dressed because she's not always compliant at night. Sometimes she's actually very non-compliant and uncooperative at night. It's one of those nights. <laughs> So we got bow ties and cheese with some strawberries and a little salad with ranch and a little bit of cheese on top. Yes, you do, baby. It's like macaroni and cheese, baby. You do like it. Well, you need to try some anyway, okay? George is. Eating some bow ties. Good job. Let's we'll eat some more. I'm gonna give her some yogurt too. Patty Patty's eating good. All your salad, all your strawberries. I'm gonna try your pasta. Patty loves salad. And you ate all your pasta too, didn't you, honey? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. More? <laughs> okay. As you do, I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. So Georgia is eating um, stony filled Yo Baby yogurt. Sorry, I need to adjust the color on um, the camera. 
they're like tungsten bulbs or like the soft yellow in here and everywhere else in the house I think we have like the bright white so I have to adjust the color constantly but anyway this is the um, Yo Baby yogurt I always have started all of my kids off on this as their very first food um, at around four and a half months I know a lot of people don't start until six months but um, with the permission of their doctor. I always check with their doctor first. Uh, four and a half months was usually when we started because that was when it became really difficult to keep up with the demand of exclusively breastfeeding them. They got to where they would be really, really hungry. They were reaching for my food and they just wanted to nurse all the time. It didn't seem to be satisfying them as much anymore. What is it? Welcome, baby. So anyway, I have always um, started them off with this Yo Baby yogurt um, as the very first thing, and then if that went well, which it always has, we would move on to other things after you know a couple of weeks. So we have stayed true to this, and we love it. That is a full and happy baby right there. Yeah, that is a full and happy baby. And Adelaide is finishing off her yogurt. That is my eater. I'm a good eater. Yeah. As usual, I'm having to beg Tinny to eat. So I'm going to try and come and feed her myself. See if you'll eat some more. Will you eat some more if Mommy helps you? You're just tired, aren't you, baby? Want some more? Strawberries. Yeah. Everybody, get together. You almost got it, girl. You almost got it. Yeah. But the best part of all is. Time to go night night. kid in the world to get to sleep and now on to Georgia <laughs> all right so I got Georgia changed and I'm about to give her her breathing treatment um, Georgia's been on breathing treatments off and on since she was born. She got whooping cough right after she was born. And so after that, she's had congestion basically well, ever since that. She's had congestion. And so when it gets really bad and it causes her to cough, we do breathing treatments. So um, we're not really sure if she's asthmatic or if she has allergies or if it's, you know, still residual from the whooping cough, we're not really 100% sure. We're just going to have to wait and see. But for now, we treat it as needed for the cough uh, with albuterol. So I'm going to give her her breathing treatment, then I'm going to feed her, and she will go night-night. And Tinny is watching Gabby's dog. eat something and then edit this video and um, 
Honestly, all the girls, um, with the exception of Georgia, should sleep until about 9 or 10. So even though everyone's going to bed really late, they'll sleep in as well, which is really nice. And you might be wondering where Chad has been. Um, Chad, you guys know, was always very helpful, but I sensed that he was feeling a little burnt out because he um, he had to pick up all my slack while we ha while we all had stomach flu. Um, I spent a lot of my time when I had stomach flu, like in the bed or like on the floor, hardly being able to move. Um, you know how a stomach flu just takes everything out of you, and I was still breastfeeding a baby, so it was just a lot. And so Chad had to pick up the slack, and so he was working, you know, all day at work, and then he'd come home, and he was basically having to be mom, dad, and everyone, because I was just existing. I wasn't really much help beyond that. So, um, yeah, I think that, and just working a lot in general right now, um, has him a little burnt out, and so he asked if I minded if he just kind of stayed up in his game room for a while tonight and um, played his game with some of his friends. And I am more than happy to, you know, give him the courtesy of doing that. You know, I had everything on my own pretty well anyway, and he did help during the first part of the night, but Chad and I do that. We really try to give each other grace when we need it, and I am more than happy to give him grace when he needs it right now. So, um, I'm watching The Witcher. I love The Witcher. And I'm going to call it a night. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.